All right, y'all, one can of Southwestern corn with peppers. I drained out about half the juice. Now we have one can of our original Rotel tomatoes and chilies. Dump it right on in, just like that. All right, we're gonna put in one package of ranch powder. I if y'all wanna use the, what, what's that brand? Hidden Valley or something, you can, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it tastes the same. A Little bit of minced onion. If y'all wanna put fresh onion in, you can. Uh, pink Himalayan salt, my favorite. You know, I love this. I'm gonna put a little bit of cumin, dash. You can also use chili powder, but I like cumin. And some black pepper. All right, I have a big crock pot right here. All right, now we're gonna put in two and a half cups of uh, either vegetable stock or chicken stock. This is actually half and half because I had two open ones in my fridge, but either one, two and a half cups. Pour it right on in, just like that. All right, now we're just gonna give this a little mix. Now I know some of y'all like to mix it first and then pour it in, but I think at this point y'all know I like to do stuff easy. I don't like doing dishes, so we're just gonna mixy mixy right in our crock pot. It's basically like a giant bowl anyways. All right, that's perfect. You just need to mix it a little bit. All right, next. Y'all, y'all are gonna be so excited when I show y'all this. Look, chicken, fresh chicken. It's chicken, y'all. Not from a can, not from the freezer, from, from the farm. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna put these two chicken breasts right on in here like that. Now, y'all can use like two to three. It depends on the size, but these are pretty big, so I just use two, and uh, I, I get that like big chicken pack from Costco, and uh, it, I just use one of the packages, so that's perfect. All right, next, we have a can of black beans. So I already drained these and rinsed these, so we're just gonna pour these right on top, right on top of the chicken, or wherever they fall, I guess it don't really matter. So I'll go to the same place. Just like that. All right, next, bacon. Everything is better with bacon. I'll just cook this bacon right now. So we're just gonna take this crispy bacon and we're gonna sprinkle it right on top. And this is one package of bacon, all right? So I, I don't know how much is one package usually, like 12 ounces or 16, I'm not sure. But I got like the thick cut applewood smoked bacon cause that's kind of like the best. All right, last step here, cream cheese. Mm-mm, I love cream cheese. So we're just gonna Plop these in, kind of all over, but all right, you know what this, guess what we about to use? Our best kitchen utensil right here. Yes, that's my hands. Yes, there is bacon on my hands. That's okay. It's bacon. It's the same recipe. It's gonna cook. It's all good. All right, we're just putting this cream cheese in here. We're just plopping it around. Ploppy plop, plop, plop. All right, y'all, there we go. Okay, so now all we're gonna do here, we're gonna set this on high. We're gonna cook this for about, I don't know, probably about three hours, all right? So we're gonna cook this for about three hours. We have one more step when it's done, y'all, but I'm so excited. I'll show y'all one more time. This is gonna be so good, y'all. I'm so excited. All right, y'all. Whoa, look at that steam. This has been on high for about two and a half hours. So we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. I feel like the chicken breast should be done by now, but I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna cut one of them in half and check it out. Let's see. All right, yep, it's 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 done, it's done. So I'm gonna cut this chicken up here and we're gonna mix it around so this cream cheese melts, all right? And then what we gonna do, let's see here, y'all. All right, perfect. I'm gonna shred the chicken up. I'm not gonna show y'all because that's gonna take a long time. I'm gonna shred the chicken and give it a good mix and I'm gonna top it off with some cheese and then we'll taste it in about 15 minutes. All right, y'all. So I just let this sit for about 15 more minutes uh, with my cheese in there. So this is a delicious, easy dinner. It's like a Southwest chicken chili. So I'm gonna serve some up right now and try it, y'all, even though it's gonna be real hot, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it. So this is how I like to do it. I like to take a nice ladle here. I put it into my bowl, make sure I got some chicken. All right, some of this broth. And then what I like to do, so y'all, if you wanna put a little sour cream on top, you can, or a little chilies, but I like to take some Fritos. I like something crunchy in my chili. So I just put a few Fritos right on top, and I think this, this is how I like it, okay, y'all? So I'm gonna just have a little bit of the broth right now because it's so hot, y'all. I don't wanna burn my tongue. I burn my tongue at least once a day. I'm surprised I can still taste stuff. Mmm, y'all, this is so good. Y'all have to try this.